every time I speak with somebody new in the field of data science, I find they are usually confused with what is a normal distribution, what is a uniform distribution, what is binomial, what is Bernoulli's, Poisson, and exponential distributions, right? So today I'm here to clear the doubt between two related distributions. One is known as Bernoulli's and other is known as binomial. okay? Very important to understand these concepts, guys. You may be asked questions in interview and it may not create a very good impression if you don't understand these basics, okay? So first of all, guys, if you don't understand what is random variable, what is probability density function, what is probability mass function, what is CMF, what are these concepts? I highly recommend you to go to this video on unfold data science, random variable, PMF and cumulative distribution. And also you can see this one, probability density function, CDF normal distribution, okay? So these foundation will be clear and then Let's understand what is the difference between Bernoulli's and binomial distribution, okay? So suppose, suppose you have a coin, okay? You have a coin in your hand and you want to toss the coin. And you want to toss just one time. How many times you want to toss, guys? Just one time, okay? So what are the possibilities when you toss the coin one time? Just one time, okay? So you can either get a head or you can get a tail, right? you are not allowed to toss it more than once, okay? So if I ask you, what is the probability of getting a head? You will simply say one by two. If I ask you, what is the probability of getting a tail? You can simply say one by two. Now this is a coin case, but suppose it's a lottery winning case or suppose it's a gambling case or suppose it's a case where probabilities are not same for both the events. So in that case, what can happen is, probability of success and failure can be different. So one number can be, let's say one by eight, other number can be something else. One number can be 0 0.9, other number can be 0 0.1, okay? So this type of situations where you have one probability associated with success and other probability associated with failure, but you are doing experiment only once, this distribution, when you model this distribution, what is the equation you will be writing? you will be writing a equation of the form fx is equal to, right, fx is equal to, you will simply say p if x is equal to success, right, or one minus p if x is equal to failure. Very simple. This kind of distribution is called a Bernoulli's distribution, okay? Now this P, if it's a coin toss problem can be 0 0.5, it's a gambling problem, maybe 0 0.99 or 0 0.01, but need not be same. P and one minus P need not be same, okay? So if you follow this equation and if you model your random variable in this, then this kind of distribution is called your Bernoulli's distribution. Remember how many times we are tossing the coin? Only one time, okay? Now, let's try to understand how binomial distribution is different from Bernoulli distribution. Suppose the same experiment you do multiple times, okay? So here, for example, I toss a coin first time, head and tail, some possibilities one by two, one by two. I toss a coin second time, head and tail. I toss a coin third time, head and tail, okay? Head and tail. Now suppose somebody comes and tells you, hey, you get $1 every time you get a head. How many dollars you get? $1 every time you get a head. So how many times you will want to get head? Obviously all these three times you want to get heads because you get one plus one plus one, three dollars, right? But you are happy if you get $2 also. So you think that at least two times I should get head, okay? So if you want to model that, out of three times, how many times I will get heads? That modeling comes under the category of binomial distribution. So understand guys, the core difference between Bernoulli's and binomial is, Bernoulli's only one trial, binomial multiple trial, but it becomes more interesting now. Let's try to understand how. Suppose two times you get heads. So how much money you get? You get $2. Suppose three times you get hit. How much money you get? $3, okay? So a generic equation to model binomial distribution is something like this. So I'm going to write here one equation, guys. Just see this carefully. 
sometimes in mcqs and some written test you may be you may be asked to choose the right equation it's very simple to understand you just say p okay p is your probability of success and they say s and you x i'll, I'll tell you what is this x 1 minus p and then you can say n minus x okay and here you write like this okay here what is your n x and p very simple to understand p is nothing but your probability of success so in our case probability of getting a head okay probability of success okay and what is n n is number of trials number of trials okay and what is x very important x is number of success number of success okay so if somebody asks you find me the probability that uh, you will get three heads or out of five tosses or let's say two heads out of the five tosses so what your equation becomes five two okay probability let's say this is a normal scenario of tossing a coin 0 0.5 how many times you are getting success two times how many times you are getting failure five minus two three times okay so you are tossing your coin how many times five times how many times you are getting heads two times how many times you are not getting heads three times so this becomes your your model or this becomes your equation or this becomes your chances of success okay now one thing to understand here guys when you generate these numbers in python i'm going to show you in python now okay so suppose suppose you toss a coin and you do you do that five times okay so this is my this is my first set you can say first set okay in all these set let's say we are tossing the coin five times so let's say in first set i get head tail head tail and head like this in second set i get when i repeat the same experiment five times i get something like tail heads tail heads tail something like this in the third time when i repeat the experiment i get tails tails tail head head okay i'm going to explain you a very important concept here guys how many times you are getting heads here count this one two three how many times you are getting heads here one two how many times you are getting heads here one so here i will just go and write three and here i will just go and write two and here i will just go and write one okay now whatever i am calling this as first set second set and third set is what is your size of your entire experiment so there is a term called size size means how many times you are doing this experiment the entire experiment okay so in this case your size becomes three okay now how many trials you are doing trials is nothing but n trials is five because in each set we are doing five trials one two three four five okay and what is your probability of success so in this case my probability is 0 0.5 for example so these three numbers when you give to python and you tell that hey generate me binomial distribution then python will give you these numbers three two one something like this okay let me show you now let's go to python so that with a real world example it will be very clear so i am taking here n and i am taking here p so n is what is your trial size how many times you want to trial okay so see here number of trials and probability of each trial okay and then i'm saying np dot random dot binomial np and 1000 1000 is how many times you are testing so size size parameter so here how many times we are testing three times so in this case this three is 1000 so when i run this experiment and you see that the output of sh 64346 this 64346 is nothing but what i have written here 321 etc okay which means that if 10 times i toss a coin okay and how many times i am getting head i count that then in first experiment that number is 6 okay 10 times i toss the coin how many times i get the head if i count that in second experiment i get four times in third experiment i get three times in fourth i get four times and so on and so forth okay 
here i am giving the probability as 0 0.5 what happens if this probability number is low let's try to relate this with a real world problem and then it will be absolutely clear to you okay so come here there is a real world problem a company drills nine wildcat oil exploration wells okay so a company drills nine wells what is the trial size here nine okay each with an estimated probability of 0 0.1. What is the probability of getting some oil? 0 0.1. All nine wells fail. Okay. What is the probability of that happening? All nine wells fail means we are getting zero output. So that number is zero, whichever we are getting. So here I am saying three, two, one, right? That number is zero. Let's do 20,000 20, trials and count the number that generates zero positive results. So how many times zero are there? So if I take this right, if I take this, in this one, how many ever times is zero is there? That means experiment failed. Sum is zero, right? Sum is zero means none of the experiment is successful. Okay. Hence the sum is zero. So with 0 0.1 probability, if I do nine trials and if I repeat that 20,000 times, then the probability of experiment failing is 38%. Okay. The probability of experiment failing is 38% because 0 0.1 is a very low probability. Now, if you increase this probability of 0 0.2, what will happen? The probability of failing will come down. So let's see here, 13% only. If we make that 0 0.05 or 0 0.10, let's say 1, 0, increase the probability, right? So 0 0.30, for example. So it will come down more. Only 3% chance that if you do this 20,000 times, then you will not get the oil. So what we are trying to understand here, guys, please understand the difference between N, P and size. N is how many trials you are doing. In our case, in oil example case nine. P is what is the probability that you will get oil. In our case, oil case 0 0.1. Size is how many times you are repeating this experiment. So in our case, 20,000. Okay. So if we are doing these nine things, and we repeat this 20,000 times with 0 0.1 probability, there is 38% chance that we will fail in all our experiments. Okay. And we saw if we increase this 0 0.1, then there is a possibility that this 31% will come down, 38% will come down. Okay. So all in all, what is the difference between these two? Bernoulli is very simple to understand. You just have one trial, nothing, nothing else to worry here. Okay. Only thing to remember this P and one minus P can be different. I mean, it need not be same. I mean, P need not be 0 0.5. It can be 0 0.2 also, okay? And in binomial, it's a combination of multiple Bernoullis, okay? So in binomial, if you make N is equal to one, that's nothing but a Bernoulli distribution, okay? So here you will do many trials, and then this is the equation for modeling that. And in Python, if you want to generate the numbers for this, okay, how many times you are successing, then I showed you how to generate the number. Somebody asks you what is the difference between binomial and Bernoulli? One trial versus many trials. And here you can get the probabilities of many trials. What is the success and what is the failure probability? Okay. So this way we have to understand the statistics concepts, guys. So that if somebody asks you, it should not be like, you know, we don't know the basics. So let me know how did you like the video, guys. And I can explain you more, more distributions around that. See you all in the next video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. See you all in the next video, wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.